Welcome to part one of Christian Symbolism in the Planets. In this video, we will talk about Mercury and how it reminds me of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I believe that God is in and through all things. He created all things and all things testify of him. The following is my attempt to see him in his handiwork. This is by no means comprehensive or definitive. Feel free to share your own perspective and interpretations on the topic. Without further ado, this is my current way of seeing God in the planet Mercury. Mercury is named after the Roman god Mercurius, their god of commerce, the messenger of gods, and the mediator between gods and mortals. That last description stands out to me the most because it suggests that Mercury could represent Jesus Christ as the mediator. Although I think all of those descriptions could also represent Christ in one way or another, and I'll get to that in a minute. Let's explore some of the reasons why mediator stands out to me as a good role for Jesus Christ. The planet Mercury is known for a few unique characteristics. First, it is the planet that is closest to the sun, and consequently, it can be difficult to see, often being consumed in the light of the sun. Second, it is the planet that has the fastest orbit. So what can we glean from these two characteristics? If the sun represents God or divinity, Mercury can represent a nearness to God, as it is the closest planet to the sun. That nearness to God, of course, is a good representation of Christ who, quote, dwells in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen nor can see. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 16. While no man can behold God in the flesh without being quickened by his power, I would argue that we can see him in certain ways with spiritual eyes. We can certainly be ministered unto by spiritual beings. This is where the second characteristic of Mercury comes into play. Being the planet with the fastest orbit, we could say that Mercury has wings. In fact, the Roman god Mercurius is depicted with winged sandals, also called Teleria, which allow him to fly as swift as any bird, they say. From this, we get a connection between speed and wings. The Doctrine and Covenants explains that wings symbolize the power to move and to act, etc. D&C section 77 verse 4. This may be why angels are often depicted with wings. In scripture, we see various instances of angels as messengers. Ancient tradition validated by Paul in Galatians chapter 3 verse 19 indicates that angels deliver the law of Moses on Mount Sinai. In the New Testament, messages are delivered by angels to Mary, the mother of Jesus, Zacharias, the father of John the Baptist, and to shepherds abiding in the field, just to name a few. In addition to bringing messages, an angel's purpose is to mediate between God and man in one way or another. In a word, angels are also mediators. But the ultimate mediator is Jesus Christ. He is, as the scriptures say, the mediator of the new covenant. See Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24. Okay, so Mercury is Christ as the mediator and also a symbol of the messengers of the gods, which are angels. But what about commerce? If Roman tradition says that Mercurius was the god of commerce, can I in any way relate that to Christ? Now this may seem odd at a glance, but when you uncover the meaning of the word commerce, you find its meaning has similarities to that of a messenger or a mediator. The word commerce itself isn't in the Bible, but its synonym trade appears five times. Its definition, according to Blue Letter Bible, is to go around or go about. That's one of the definitions. The act of going around and about for a certain purpose is relevant also to a messenger and even a mediator. The economy of Earth moves with money, but I suggest that the economy of heaven is based on the work of angels. God doesn't need money to get things done in heaven, but he does need willing hands and feet, also known as angels. To say that God is present in our day-to-day -day economy, quote unquote, is to say that he is present in our daily lives. He sends messengers and mediators to intervene on our behalf. And in his infinite love, God sends his only begotten son, the mediator of all men. Consider 2 Nephi verse 2, chapter 28. I would that ye should look to the great mediator and hearken unto his great commandments, 
and be faithful unto his words and choose eternal life according to the will of his Holy Spirit. To me, Mercury represents Christ as the mediator with his power to move and act on behalf of the children of God. He is the only one who could approach the light and bring heaven to earth that by obedience to his will, all mankind may be saved through the great mediator of all men. So that's some of my thoughts. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe you learned something new. Come back next time when we explore Christian symbolism in the planet Venus. Until next time, remember, to be spiritually minded is life eternal. Thank you for watching.